Okay, so this is uh, two almost the same uh, motors. This is a uh, car motor for um, windows, uh, lifter, and uh, this plastic part. In this motor, I replace it with um, this part so it goes into those. Uh, rubber buffers and uh, it's combined uh, from a few pieces uh, all this aluminum this is a uh, steel bushing and this steel bushing goes into the bushing and the uh, plate on the side of the mill table so this is half inch uh, rod and uh, it has uh, four millimeters uh, key slot okay the same slot is made uh, on the uh, lead screw so these slots uh, they they are not precise so uh, i made them using band saw both on this uh, shaft and on the lead screw so this is the assembly uh, just sort of rubber gasket and uh, some cover from sheet aluminum and it has to be mounted on the threaded rods And I have some nuts to adjust the depth of, of shaft. So there is a shoulder and it has to sit on the bronze bushing in this plate. Okay, now it sits and I fix the motor with the lock nuts just not over tightening it I can feel when it's getting tighter and I don't fasten it anymore These three nuts just uh, fix the position of the threaded rod in this plate. This is aluminum plate with uh, uh, half inch bronze bushing in the hole. This is the uh, bottom view of the uh, table with the lead screw and uh, key slot. Uh, this is a uh, slot four millimeters uh, wide and uh, this is the key slot on the uh, motor shaft so to clutch these parts to work together actually we need uh, just some you know, movable key uh, which would sit in this position uh, not connecting the motor shaft and we can uh, freely move the lead screw and the table and uh, this position when the key is connected is connecting the motor shaft and the mm, lead screw so this is the model of the uh, motor shaft and uh, the lead screw and this is the uh, design i am going to implement 
So this is just uh, two sleeves connected by the key. Uh, one sleeve, the shorter one, is uh, going to run along the motor shaft, and the longer one is running along the uh, lead screw. So this is how it works, and uh, this is uh, the uh, final final design. And uh, material I selected is uh, polyethylene. And this is the uh, final assembly, so we put our clutch uh, 
on the lead screw. Okay. Then mounting the plate. So we can adjust the position of the plate to make the motor shaft and the lead screw concentric. And this is how it should work. So in this position we can turn the lead screw and move the table without connection to the motor shaft and in this position okay we have to uh, move motor and we cannot move the uh, lead screw wheel and uh, move the table by hand i connected the power and let's try to around the motor with the clutch in connected position. I'm changing the speed of the motor and uh, thus changing the uh, speed of the feed of the table. Okay, and if I unplug the clutch, we see, we see that uh, the motor is easily turning, but it does move the lead screw and it does move the table. Okay, so the nail is in working position. The clutch is unplugged, the clutch is unplugged and I can move the uh, table manually and now in order to connect the clutch, connect the motor, I have to find the proper position of the lead screw and catch the uh, key slot on the motor shaft. Now it's done and uh, running the motor. I can move the table, changing the feed speed. And direction. Okay, this is the 
control box. Uh, on the bottom is a speed controller. And uh, this is uh, just uh, two three position switches to change the direction. This is a switch for uh, turn on, turn off and turn on to the opposite direction. And this is a momentary switch. So it runs the motor while you are holding it to the right and to the left direction. Okay, and uh, the power supply is uh, uh, 24 volts, uh, 5 amps, just regular power supply. Nothing, nothing interesting. 